Welcome back everybody, Valen here, Valen Speaks Tech. Today I want to talk about something that I think you'll find interesting and it's called the UAD, right? When I tell you the UAD, this doesn't really ring any bells, so it's the Universal Android Deblalter, all right? And before I continue in the video, I just want to make this disclaimer that you need to use it, guys, on your own risk. So I will show you what you can do, but you have to be cautious. But you know what they're saying? No pain, no gain. First things first is, what is the Universal Android Deblalter? And for that, I want to link you guys to an XDA form article. The link's going to be in the video description. The Universal Android Deblalter is a very powerful tool. The idea is to improve the battery performance and privacy. But how is that being achieved? By removing unnecessary and obscure system apps. This can also contribute to improved security by reducing the attack surface, and etc. and etc. So the main features are here. You can use the tool to do a quick search among all the packages of your Android device. You can uninstall system user packages manually or with some debloat lists that are supported for a lot of devices out there like Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus and etc. If you want to get those things back that you have removed, you can apparently reinstall the system packages so you can still do that. And of course, you can do an ADB backup and restore. It's not reliable, but still you can do this. Device brand detection and auto selection of the appropriate manufacturer, the bloat list, which means that when you hook up the phone to your PC, the tool is going to know if it's a Samsung or it's an iPhone. Mm, yeah. If you're laughing, still, please, you can continue watching the video. If not, then probably just forget about it and close right now, but, you know, just subscribe and close. But if you got the joke, you can continue. Root support and installation of alternative open source apps replacing, whatever. So, guys, there are inside here some universal deployed lists that you can use. And those are all the manufacturers that are supported. The Asus, LG, RIP, Google, Huawei, Motorola, Nokia, OnePlus, Oppo, Samsung, Sony, Xiaomi. All right, so I think it's pretty much a lot. And also there are carrier deployed lists, which means that you have a carrier phone like T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon. You can use this tool to remove some of the bad software there. So first, let me show you how to get it, how to install it, what you require, and then I'm going to give you a tour using my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So this here is the main repository on GitHub. Okay, you have also the summary there and also all the features. At this point right now for us or for you watching this video, it's very important to remember that you can use this tool to remove what people call bloatware. So let's say you're buying a Samsung phone, you get Samsung calendar, Samsung this, Samsung that, and you don't want this, right? Stuff like this. And the first thing you need to do, you need to keep scrolling there, right? Keep scrolling until you find something called download the latest release of the UAD GUI, the graphic user interface for your operating system. So once you click, another link is going to get open. And guys, here you have access to the repository, okay? Assets, 12 files, so you can use this on Linux. You can use this also on the Mac OS. And of course, I've been using just the Windows copy. Okay, now once that's done, you need to enable the developer option on your smartphone and I know that you know how to do so. If please not, then this video is not for you. But if you still want to do this, then you can check how you can enable the developer options. And then inside you need to turn on the USB debugging. Then guys, you need also to install the minimal ADB and fastboot. And once that's done, guys, just hook up here your phone via your PC, okay? Now, just to make sure that we are connected, go inside your minimal ADB and fastboot and just type ADB devices, all right? Um, in order to be successful, you need to see something like device name here, all right, attached. If you're doing it for the first time, you're going to get a message here on your phone that you need to press to authorize the connection. So you need to see the device being here listed. Once that's done, guys, very important, something that I learned the hard way. For me, the tool was not working and not working until I just copy pasted it inside the folder I'm having IDB, the minimal ADB and etc. So for me, this is here the problem files x86 and inside I got two different versions, but I'm using for this video the minimal ADB and fast boot. Inside I have the ADB exe and also the UAD GUI. All right, just start it. Okay, boom. I am now immediately connected to my phone. You can see it, the Samsung SMS 908B. Guys, something very important. This here is the main user interface. And what we see on the screen, we have these three main tabs. We have the recommended, okay? You can go from all, where you can just see all the packages, right? You can go for recommended, where you can just see the ones that are recommended for your device, right? You can go to the advanced, Okay, you can go to expert, don't go there, please. And then you have unsafe, potentially really 
being able to break your phone. Now, you cannot destroy or break your phone, but you can make it very unusable to the state that you need to do some factory reset. So don't just engage. We've also unlisted. I'm gonna go right now back to recommend it and show you the second filter. And this is here, all the applications that are enabled right now, all the packages, or I can just go and just decide to show me all the uninstalled. But since I don't have uninstalled, of course, nothing is there. All is say the ones that are disabled. Some of them, like the Samsung Android AR Zone, are disabled. And then on the right hand side, guys, you have also the third filter, which is showing you all the list, the ones that are recommended to be used for AI also P, you know, some Kira ones, some Google ones, some MISC ones, or even some OM ones. If I now go to all the packages and I select the OM, I'm gonna get here on all the standard Samsung software, right? Like you see accessibility, the Air Command Manager, the Media Share, and now the fun part starts. When I click on a package, I'm gonna get here also information. Samsung All Share Service called SmartView. This is used to stream content from your phone on a TV. Okay, and if I don't need this, only after making a wise educator decision, I can select it and then press the uninstall. Of course, now I'm not going to do this, right, because I'm using this, but I just want you to understand how this works. Let's just go to Samsung One here. This is the Samsung One font. So if I don't need it, guys, I can just select the uninstalled. And you see how this is going. Now I'm gonna go back and select all the list there, and I'm gonna select here all the packages. So practically this is recommended for my phone. I just want to do now a review with you. The first thing here is an auto installs a set of OM applications on device for setup. Okay, so this you can remove if you don't want. The second option is the Bluetooth MIDI service that provides classes for using the MIDI protocol over Bluetooth. So if you are not engaged with you know musicians or if you're not a musician, then maybe you don't want to connect MIDI device devices on your phone, so maybe you can just hit here the uninstall. Then we have the call, locks, backup and restore, this runs in the background and there are more information guys, you can select the links and just fetch more information. Then of course we have the Google Chrome, right? Now they are saying yeah, that you can use Firefox, okay, it is false, it's, it's functionally superior and you know, maybe, maybe it's a good option, I will not remove my Chrome but you get it, if you don't want Chrome, boom, hit the uninstall. Then we have photographic screen savers things you can remove if you want, then you can also remove the Android Easter egg, and then you can also remove the OK Google Detection Service, you can remove um, you know, the partner bookmarks and the SIM toolkits, which probably nobody really is using it anyway. But you really see how things are working. So you just read through the information, you make an educated choice, and then you hit the uninstall button. What will happen if you break something, your phone will try to boot several times. If it fails, then it's gonna get directly into your recovery mode, and then you need to do a factory reset. Which means that your data probably is going to just, you know, say goodbye to you. So before using the universal Android Bloater, please make sure, guys, that you did a backup on all of your data, okay? Pictures, family things, music, whatever you have there, just backup documents, and then start using it. Okay, every time you do something and refresh the list, okay, it's going to pull all the packages there. What is this here? As a service. Sometimes it's a lot of battery, according to some Reddit users. Security policy apps, yeah, and you know what? If you want, you can remove it. But my recommendation will be proceed with really the highest caution. Accessibility settings, useful for apps creating virtual buttons. You know, why they're removing this package can cause a boot loop if you set the lock code on your phone, which means that, you know, you want to get the benefit of removing the accessibility settings, but you have a lock um, on your phone with a code, so you remove it, and then boom, you end up in boot loop, you know, the not very pleasant scenario where you need to do a factory reset. Media share, okay, maybe maybe this is something that you want to remove. It's basically a non-functional empty shell which often only redirects to the Play Store, okay, and then you have something like annoying sticker stamps on the Samsung camera app. Come on, it feels like Snapchat. Some people like those things. If you don't like them, be my guest and remove it. And again, don't go here to expert and don't go here to unsafe because there, you know, we have some things removing of which will cause you a lot of problems, okay? So, for example, this package here. This package here is used for USB and Wi-Fi feathering. So guess what will happen when we decide to remove it? Or in this one here, Android System Theme Park. Guessing it's a pack of overlay themes for Android System or Google Play services. You know, you don't want to mess up with these things, but you pretty much got the idea. It's your phone, it's your tool, it's free to use. If you wanna get amped or you wanna optimize your experience or you just hate some of the standard stuff there, then you can use this tool to remove it.
and before closing this window please make sure to subscribe for the channel for tips like this and yeah please you and your family stay safe we'll see you over and bye